Skylar never initiates any form of conversation, not even to the point where she'll just say hello and goodbye. This little baby here told me that she wants to say hello to this big baby and she doesn't know how to. So one of the things I did do was to role play with Skylar. Is that hello or goodbye? That's, that's goodbye. When you're doing this, that's, that's hello. I asked Skylar to do it herself. She showed me what a hello was and what a goodbye was. What does Bear say? What does Bear say? Hello. Hello, that's right. Say, come in. What does Bear say? Come in. I think I've made progress in Skylar's understanding of how important it is to say hello and goodbye. This next step in the socialisation process is to identify personal space. So, Frank, let's have you in the middle of that orange circle there. It is important that Frank and Danielle do not put pressure on their children to be affectionate towards their friends and family on demand. Skylar, come say hello to Sharon, hello. please. Frank, did you say hi too? No. Say goodbye. No. Give him a big hug. Aww. I made Frank see what his children see. These circles represent the intimacy that you have with people. When we come into the blue circle, it means that we've already developed the common ground of saying hello and goodbye. When we get to this circle, Frank, that means that I've encroached on your space. How comfortable does that feel? A little tight in here. To sit in the center of the circle and to look up and see Joe, I felt a little intimidated. Your children have their own space. They have their own area. And regardless to whether they're family or their friends, they will have their own time in which they feel comfortable to allow that person into their pink circle. Now imagine that you're Skylar and she's this tall. And then she meets an adult and that person comes straight into her space. It's quite intimidating, isn't it? Intimidating, sure. I think it was definitely an eye-opener. I'm definitely going to be more aware of the kid's personal space. I'll look at it in a different way than I did before. I introduced the feelings chart because Frank is often never heard by his parents, so I really want to be able to give him a chance to express himself. If you feel good about something, then I want you to use the happy faces, OK? Mm -hmm. If you feel bad about something or you feel sad, what I want you to do is use the sad faces. I'm feeling happy today. You're feeling happy today? I'm going to get to spend more time with my dad. Yeah, you are. If mum and dad can visually get an idea of what's going on in Frank's head and how he's feeling, they can do something to change that. That's your special chart. These are your special faces. And this is about how you're feeling, because that's what's important. Never <laughs> warn it and tell her if she does it again, <laughs> she would go on the naughty chair. I'm behind you right, right away, all the way here, Danielle. You are taking the, the power back. I don't want to go to jail. The Rise and Shine technique is to make sure that mornings run smooth and are organised. The night before, the children need to choose their clothes and the alarms need to be set.